For this tutorial, I will be using Windows Live Movie Maker to create an at-home movie. We will do this in six easy steps. The first step is to import any videos or photographs to be used in your movie. Once you've imported your pictures and videos, you can rearrange them by using the left mouse key. Once you have your pictures in their desired locations, you can now move on to the second step in your video production. The second step is to create a title page. The font can be changed using the toolbar at the top of your screen. You can also change the background color of this title page. Once you've created your title page, you can decide how you would like the transition to go into your movie. Now that you've created a title page, you can move on to step three of your video production. You will create a caption that will be used for each picture or video throughout your movie. Once you've created your captions for your appropriate photographs, you can now move on to the next step in your video production. The fourth step will be to create any type of animations that you would like to use throughout your video. If you choose select all, you will have the same transition used throughout your video. Once you've created your transitions that you will be using throughout your video, you can choose what type of zoom you would like to use for each picture or video throughout your movie. Again, you can do this per picture or per slide, or you can apply the same type of zoom throughout your movie. Once this is done, you're going to go back to your home screen and select the type of music that you will be adding to your movie. This is the fifth step in your video production. You may need to add more music if you have a lot of pictures. The final step in this video production is actually viewing your movie. You'll go to the View menu at the top of your screen and then preview what you've just created. Enjoy!